Hey, it's all with a quick tip on how to reorganize your UI without tearing your hair out. Some folks have been saying that they're losing their UI and all the work that they've been putting into them. And for the most part, I believe it, like bugs can happen, but on more than a few occasions, it's been due to user error and maybe a little bit of confusion on Blizzard's part. Uh, so let's see if this helps. Uh, be sure to like this video if it's helpful and to subscribe for more content. Here's what some folks have been running into. Like they're on their main and they set up their new action bars, they remap some buttons, they make a talent thing, and then boom, they're done. But then they switch to one of their other loadouts or another spec, and then hey, like all their talents are gone, and well, what gives? I'll try to explain. What most likely happened is that they had created talent loadouts first made a bunch of changes to their main spec, and then they switched to the new loadout, assuming that all the changes would follow, and they don't. So here's what to do. Open the pull-down menu at the lower left-hand corner of the talent tree thing, and mouse over the loadout that you have been already working on. Hit the gear on the side to access some additional options. Here, check the box to use shared action bars. This makes it so that any loadout that has this box checked will all share the same button layout, and whatever changes happen on one, happen to all the others that are shared. You can then do one of two things. You can use the pull-down, then go to the options of any loadout, and check the shared action bars box. The next time you switch to these loadouts, the button placements will match the shared action bars that you originally set up. In a way, it sort of pastes a copy onto these loadouts. It works the same way if you switch to that loadout first and then repeat these steps. You can also do this. From your original loadout, make a new loadout, which will copy your most previous loadout automatically. So once you copy your buttons to the new loadout or whichever you want, consider unchecking the boxes to share loadouts. That way you can make small tweaks to your action bars without disrupting your other loadouts. Personally, this is something that I'll be doing. I have general loadouts that I'll be using for activities, but I'll also be making small on-the-fly changes while I'm going from like boss to boss or between trash packs and dungeons. Meanwhile, you might have throughput specific builds called like a single target build, the AOE build, it's, you know, it's whatever you want. When switching specializations for the first time, the game is going to default your layout to the last one that was used, which at this stage of the patch is going to be the preset. Your UI is not gone though, you just need to go into edit mode and then select the UI that you had before. Or you can press the gear button and copy it to a new profile that you can customize better for a certain role like, well, like healing. Something important to note, you can only save up to 5 of these presets across your account. You can save more across your character. So what I suggest is to consider the presets as kind of like templates for, you know, like healing, tanking, DPS, PvP, and so on and so forth. That you can use to start things off for your character. Then when actually on those characters, after you switch to your desired template, create a new layout and check the character specific layout box. That way you can make all the minor classic specific tweaks that you need to make and that only affects that class or that character. As you eventually get your layouts together, you'll see the intended result. Whereas you log on to a character and switch to a given specialization or a loadout, your frames, your hotkeys, your button mappings, and all that stuff will simply be what they need to be when you want them to be. It's going to take a little while. Even the best of us spend hours and hours making minor tweaks to make the experience just the way that we want it, and we're never satisfied. And if we are, it's because we're lying to ourselves. So I hope this helped a tiny bit. As a reminder, like the video for more content, and I'll catch you later. Until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay breezy.